गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट द आंसर ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन सो देर आर थ्री क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द नेम ऑफ हॉरिजोंटल एंड द वर्टिकल लाइन्स ड्रॉन टू डिटरमाइन द पोजिशन ऑफ एनी पॉइंट इन कार्टीजन प्लेन सो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दिस इज अ प्लेन and to determine the position of any point in a plane we always draw horizontal line and vertical line so we have to tell what is the name of these line lines so horizontal line drawn to determine the position of any point in the cartesian plane is called do you know what does it call what does uh, what does we call it so horizontal line is called x axis and vertical line is called y axis is called x axis and vertical line is called y axis and together they form the coordinate axis and this is cartesian plane so this is horizontal axis called x axis this is vertical axis called y axis and together they make coordinate axis now next question is what is the name of each part of the plane formed by these two lines now you can see we have x axis and we have y axis in the plane so this these two axis these coordinate axis divide this plane into how many parts and what is the name of each part so you can see these two coordinate axes divide the plane into four parts first second third and fourth part and each part is called quadrant quadrant is one far one fourth of the whole so each part is called one uh, quadrant so the answer is second answer is each part of the plane formed by these two lines is called quadrant so i think you have understood it so there are four parts and each part is called quadrant next is write the name of point where these two lines intersect now you can see x axis and y axis intersect at point o origin So, what is the name of point where these two lines meet? These two lines will intersect at origin. So, the point where these two lines intersect is called origin. So, this completes your question number one. Now, come to question number two. See figure three point one four and write the following: the coordinates of B, the coordinates of C, the point identified by coordinates minus three minus five, and there are few more parts. So let us see this figure three point one four. First part is question number two. First part is the coordinates of B. Now see here in this diagram, in this graph. you can see where is b this is b now we have to tell the coordinates of b now you can see the distance from this point from y axis is how many units this line is parallel to x axis so from here to here you can see minus 5 same way these two lines are parallel so distance of this point from y axis is minus 5 so x coordinate is minus 5 and distance of this point from x axis is parallel to this line 2 plus 2 so the coordinates of b are minus 5 2 so simply you can see this point will meet x axis at minus 5 and y axis at 2 so the points will be minus 5 comma 2 so answer is minus 5 comma 2 second part is the coordinates of c now you can see where is c this is c so c 
touches x axis at 5 and y axis at minus 5 so the coordinates are 5 comma minus 5 yes the coordinates of c are 5 comma minus 5 next part is the point identified by the coordinates minus 3 comma minus 5 now you can see here where is minus 3 comma minus 5 x minus 3 is here and y minus 5 is here so both will meet at both the points will meet at both the lines will meet at point e so the point is e the point identified by the coordinate minus 3 minus 5 is e next fourth part is the point identified by the coordinates minus 2 comma minus 4 now see here this is 2 x 2 2 comma minus 4 is x is 2 and y minus 4 so you can see x 2 is here and y minus 4 is here both the lines are meeting at point g so the point is g g is the answer now next is abscissa of abscissa of point d abscissa we know where is point d see here this is point d abscissa is called x coordinate x coordinate the other name of x coordinate is abscissa or the other name of abscissa is x coordinate so the x coordinate of d is 6 so abscissa of point d is 6 next is the ordinate of point h now where is h here is h ordinate means y coordinate so what is the y coordinate of h here it is h x coordinate is minus 5 and y coordinate is minus 3 and y coordinate the other name of y coordinate is ordinate so the ordinate of h is minus 3 seventh part is the coordinates of point l now you can see where is l here it is l see this diagram this graph here it is l so you can see l does not lie in any of the quadrant it lies on y axis on positive y axis and we know on y axis x coordinate is always 0 so here y is 5 y is 5 and x coordinate is always 0 on y axis so the coordinates of point l is 0 comma 5 eighth part is the coordinates of point m now you can see here it is m m as you can see the m lies on x axis and on x axis y coordinate is always 0 and m lies on minus 3 so the coordinates will become minus 3 x is minus 3 and y is always 0 so these are the coordinates of point m so this completes your exercise 3.2 and uh, now you complete it thank you